One landmark along the Niagara Parkway is this, this set of big red logging wheels here on the grounds of the Willoughby Historical Museum. Sometimes they're mistaken for a cannon carriage, but these wheels were actually used to hoist one end of a large felled tree to help transport it by horse or tractor to a lumber mill. This set of wheels was used by David Shirk of Humberston Township before ownership was transferred to son-in-law Jesse Morningstar to haul logs to the family mill in Black Creek at the south end of Old Willoughby Township. Their hardwood logs were cut into lumber for use in local industry and marine construction on projects such as the Homer Bridge, uh, the Niagara Power Project, and the second well and canal, and also the keels and ribs of the old uh, Made of the Mist boat. The Morningstar Mill was established in 1910 by Jesse Morningstar, although lumbering had been done by the family well before then. Starting in 1903, uh, logs had been hauled to Dean's Sawmill, on Netherby Road near Will Willow uh, Road in Willoughby Township. And Jesse came to operate a mill in Chantler Welland in 1908 before finally establishing the mill that carried the family name in Black Creek. Horace C. Morningstar took over operation of the business in 1947 and was also very active in local civic affairs as Willoughby Township Reeve from 1955 to 58. He was a representative uh, member from Willoughby Council on the first museum board um, for, for Willoughby. And the wheels were a landmark for many years as they sat uh, stark white in front of the Morningstar home and uh, in front of the mill on Montrose Road where, uh, before they were donated by Horace to the museum. Uh, the museum was established in 1968 and the wheels were donated shortly after that. These wheels have largely been rebuilt over the years and have undergone uh, a change in color from white to bright red that you see today. So you can come and see these wheels uh, anytime they're displayed in front of the Willoughby Historical Museum at the corner of Weaver Road and Niagara Parkway. And they're marked by a, a nice little stone in front that uh, gives a little description as well.